Now for this card, I've just started off with an A4 cream card, folded it in half to create an A5 card. And now I've taken all the stackers and I've cut them out all individually and I've mounted them onto some nice red card here, or red paper, whichever you prefer, and just layer those up. And I've also put some foam pads on ready to stick down. Next I'm going to take a sheet of the matching background paper and just cut it to size of my card to cover the front there. Now in the centre of the card I've stuck down the first layer of the stackers there. I have the second layer here, foam pads on the back and I just need to line it up perfectly. Now don't forget I've got little red borders around here too. So that just needs to go down there as accurately as possible and just stick it down. And then just layer up all the rest of the ones. I've also cut out two strips of paper from the sandcastle design and that's going to go either side of the main design. And there you have the finished card. Very simple, very easy, and you can add any sentiment to that that you want. I've printed out all the pages from the Cheeky CD to make this card project. I've got the 3D design here, and I've printed out some of the stripes and some of the matching background papers as well. I'm also going to be using the frame template that's in acetate. First of all, just take your template and carefully with a pair of scissors, just cut around the template carefully. Just up to the black line. You're also going to cut out the centre of the template here too. And the way I do it is just fold it in half like that and just nip your scissors in the middle there like so, just to get a nice little cut. And then carefully cut out the square or the rectangle here carefully on the inside of the template. And that's the template cut out ready to use. Now one tip is with the templates, what I do is I turn them over and then just using the two-way glue pen, I just put a strip down there like that, just a strip of glue and then when this dries it will be removable glue so then I can keep this on a sheet of paper to use at all times but also when I'm drawing around it it will stick to the paper, not ruin the paper and it will not move around so it makes uh, actually a drawing around the template easier. So there you can see the glue's dried on there now, it's on my piece of paper and I can just store it on there and keep it nice, just press it down, the glue because it's removable and then when you want to use it again just peel it off and it's also tacky so you can stick it out on, down on your paper and it's not going to move around. And what I've done here, I've just stuck down, you can see there if I lift it up easily, just stuck the template down and it just self cleans to there easily. I've got a pencil here but when you position it, because it's acetate you can see exactly. So I've lined this up here so I've got those nice green lines going down here for making the frame. And then all you have to do is take a pencil and just lightly go around the frame on the outside and the inside. And there you can see the pencil line around the template and all you have to do is cut that out. Now there's the template cut out and now I'm going to cut the centre bit out but I don't want to waste the centre here so I'm going to use a scalpel and a steel ruler to just cut the aperture out of the middle. So there's the centre that I've cut out there, and there's my template ready to score and fold. Keep this, you can use it on the card, or you can use it on another card. 
Now what I'm going to do is just take the template and turn it over and then all you have to do is score along this imaginary line here. So you just take the edge of each of these, take your ruler and just line it up at either end like that and just score down there and then take it to the next cut there and score along there too using a embossing tool and then you'll find that's easy then to actually fold over your template and crease fold over and crease like that and do that on all three corners so now the template has been creased all the way around but before you fold them all just refer back to your template and you can see there's a dotted line here if you line it up there like that you know that you need to just snip here and because you've folded it or creased it that will snip easily and you can just fold that little flap back like that so now the frame has been creased and folded now you just have to stick it together now I've folded all the flaps in there now I usually start at the bottom one end because I've got to slide my decoupage in there yet and all I do is just put a little blob of glue on there put the flap in fold this over like that and then just hold it together make sure all the corners are nicely squared up there and then just hold it until the glue sets it's worth doing that hold it firmly with the first one you don't want it coming apart once this is firmly stuck together the rest of them will be easy and one tip is if you want to hold it in position and just put a pen or something like that underneath so you can press down on it and I've got the pen there and just press down so I'm pressing up with the pen pressing down with my finger so I'll get a really nice secure tight um, glued corner now there's the frame coming together but before I glue down the top part here I'm going to assemble the decoupage which is going to fit inside So first of all, just print out the decoupage sheet that you're going to use and then cut out all of the elements and on the back you can either use silicon or I'm going to use foam pads on the back of this one. I've already stuck down the first layer here and now I'm just building up the design. And now you can see all the layers have been added to the 3D design there. And now all you have to do is take your decoupage and slide it into the frame, like so. And then just turn it over and fold the backs in like that and just glue them down. So that's securely in there. And there you can see that the decoupage now is nice and neatly framed there, ready to use. Uh, stick it on a card if you want, but you may notice here that you can't quite read there. Ah, but I've been crafty. I've kept this one off, double-sided tab on the back, and I'm going to stick that over the top there, the top of the frame, so you get an even more 3D look. And if you wanted, you could have also stuck a piece of acetate on the inside of the card before you assembled it so that would keep all the dust off and protect it. Next I've taken the background paper that matches the design and I've printed this onto an A4 sheet of card, trimmed the edges, folded it and you can see this is going to match perfectly well. Next I'm taking some of the striped paper and I've stuck it down the back here, cut it into a strip, double sided tape on the card and then fold this over neatly, press down and then with scissors just trim the excess of here and then just using a little bit of glue on the back or some double sided tape just stick the frame to the card very easy and you've got a nice decoupage card which is beautifully protected as well and you can add a sentiment and decorate it up with peel offs or do whatever you want
For this card, I've cut out a nice square card in red, and I've made it a little bit bigger than the actual template here that makes the pinwheels. So I've done about half an inch all the way around there, and then I've got some lovely bright colours as well because to go with the theme of the uh, of the um, cheeky cheeky saucy postcards, the primary colours work really really well. So what I'm going to do is layer those up in the yellow, the blue, and the red. Now the next thing you want to do is cut out your templates from the acetate to make your pinwheels. Now as you can see in the middle of there you've got four little dots. Now using a sharp implement, I've just got a little pair of scissors here, but you could use a brad awl or the compass or uh, a pricking tool, just make little holes in there. But it's a good idea if you put underneath a uh, sponge mat, which you can get from most places, but uh, obviously we've got them too. Uh, and then just make a little hole through there, and then if you pick it up and then just twist your scissors round, you'll make the hole a little bit bigger. So just make all the holes there first. And there you can see the hole made in the acetate there. Next I've printed out onto a piece of paper the matching background paper that goes with my topper. And on the back I've actually printed the large of the stripes. You get three sizes. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is put my template over the top and if you just line it up like that, so you know you're going to cut along the edges here, you only have to go over those edges there with your pencil. So find your pencil, mine's gone missing, but I found it now. And then just do a light pencil mark all the way around the square, well those two edges anyway. Make sure your pencil's nice and sharp, and then just put your pencil through the little holes there, and just make a little mark. Now it's entirely up to you, you can either take your scissors and cut up to that mark or you could take a ruler and do a gentle from corner to corner there, from that little hole to the corner where you're going to cut, just do a little pencil mark. Uh, do that on all four and then cut it out. And just cut down to where the little dot finishes there, turn it round and cut all the corners into the middle. Not right into the middle, just up to where the dot finishes. Now all four corners have been cut and as you turn it over you can see the other design on the opposite edge. And what you want to do now is you want this to roll over and stick down like a straight line down there but stick it where the dot finishes here. So if I put a little bit of glue there just to hold it in position you're just rolling this corner up like that, holding it where the dot finishes and then just hold it down until the glue sticks it nicely together. So you end up with it stuck down like this. Next you want to put a little bit more glue there over the top of that one and then you're bringing the next corner over up to the next one there, the next dot, so that's going to overlap slightly and go over that one and stick down. You can put a little bit of glue under the tip here as well just to keep it securely down. And then just a little bit of glue here and you're going to stick down the next section, the corner, and that just comes over like that, up to the dot, tip to tip, and then just hold it down until the glue holds it. And finally I'm going to put a little bit more glue there, and the final corner comes over and sticks down in there. So they're all overlapping each other, so you're creating that wonderful pinwheel effect. Now we're going to have three layers here, so you can have, if you were to make a pinwheel, you could do two or three of this, but I'm doing different sizes. So what I'm going to do is just gently, I'm not going to flatten them completely, I'm just going to gently crease them so they've still got a little bit of body there. So you end up with your pinwheel like that. Now I've got my card here and I've got my first pinwheel 
that I'm going to stick down. I've got some double sided foam tape on the back just to lift it a little bit and I'm just going to position this quite squarely on like so. And that's the first one and because it's got the foam tape it just lifts it up slightly. And there's the next size pinwheel I've got here I'm just going to slightly twist it so it's over the edge there like that. It's got foam pad on the back too and I'll just stick that down in the middle. And finally I've got one more, the smallest one of all and I'm going to position that and stick that down just there. Next I've printed out one of the topper sheets and I've cut out the medium size one and I've printed this onto some card. Now you could actually stick this down onto the card if you want to but you've got all these little pockets here so you could actually just slot that into there like that so it's loose on the card or you could take it into the second one down and have it like that maybe, a bit like that or I think what I prefer is to go onto the big one there and it just slots in there nicely and then you could write a little sentiment on the back there if you wanted to or you could stick it down if you really must but I think it works really nice, quite nicely there don't you?